Kidney stone disease is one of the oldest diseases among humans. Archaeologists discovered a bladder calculus accompanying the skeleton of an Egyptian mummy that was about 6,800 years old. Urolithiasis, the process of kidney stone formation, happens when the urine is supersaturated with salt and minerals. The excess of minerals form tiny crystals that grow and may form stones or calculi in the kidneys. Depending on the localization of the stone, there are kidney stones, ureteral stones or bladder stones. Most of calculi form in the kidneys. The calculi may stay in the position in which they were formed or migrate down the urinary tract, causing sudden severe pain. About 70% of calculi contain calcium. The size of kidney stones varies from too small to be seen with the naked eye to the size of a golf ball. Urolithiasis is more common in developed countries, mostly because of the food rich in refined carbs and in hot climate regions, mostly because of dehydration. Some of the risk factors that can increase the chances of developing kidney stones are anomalies in the urinary tract or kidneys, such as ureteral stricture or horseshoe kidney, family history of kidney stones, dehydration, excessive calcium or vitamin D supplements. Many calculi are asymptomatic, but some may cause renal colic. When the calculus migrates down the ureter, it irritates the ureteral mucosa. This causes ureteral spasm with dilatation and stretching of the ureter, causing sudden severe pain in the lumbar region. The pain usually radiates in the ipsilateral flank and iliac fossa. It can also radiate down towards the genitalia. Other signs and symptoms may be present such as dysuria, meaning pain or a burning sensation during urination, hematuria, meaning blood in urine, nausea and vomiting, paleness of the face. Some calculi can be spontaneously eliminated depending on their size and localization. Approximately 20% of calculi will not be spontaneously eliminated and will require some form of medical intervention. Calculi that are less than 10 mm in diameter may be spontaneously eliminated. Calculi that are larger than 10 mm in diameter usually require medical intervention. In some patients, stones relapse after being eliminated. The risk of stone relapse is greater in patients with Abnormalities of the urinary tract First attack before 25 years old Single functioning kidney Some small adjustments in your lifestyle may help reduce your risk of developing kidney stones, so Increase daily fluid intake Reduce salt in your diet Reduce your meat consumption Always ask your doctor when taking calcium and vitamin D supplements and eat cranberries. They can reduce the risk of kidney stone formation.